Hi everybody. Um, I'm Janine Hawkins. I'm at Bleating Heart on Twitter. Um, I'm on a podcast called Friends at the Table. We just dropped an episode last night that is very good. Uh, that's a very humble thing to say. I know. I just really like that episode. <laughs> Some good stuff happens. Um, no spoilers though. Spoiler free zone. Spoiler free zone. Because we're here to play Animal Crossing. We're going to play uh, Animal Crossing City Folk, actually. And this is like a thing back a long time ago. In the before time. Um, in the long, long ago. Uh, am I quiet? I can turn myself up a little bit. Um... A long time ago, before Animal Crossing uh, New Leaf? New Leaf, before Animal Crossing, oh wait, my mixer dial wasn't all the way where it's supposed to be. Um, I'm such an audio professional, professional podcaster, that I have little, I used Posca markers to draw little lines on my mixer to show me where the knobs are supposed to be most of the time, uh, and one of them wasn't where it was supposed to be. Hopefully this is a little better. Um, so, forever ago, as I was saying, forever ago, uh, I think it was before New Leaf came out, around this time of year, because New Leaf came out, I want to say, in North America, it came out in, like, June, because I got the, the thingy for my birthday, um, and I remember I played, um, the original Animal Crossing, I streamed it for, like, a month or for a bit leading up to that. Cause I was very excited. Um, I was really fun. It was like one of the first, I want to say it was one of the first few streams I did where I was talking, but I don't actually remember if that's true. <laughs> so don't hold me to that. Um, but it was really fun. And we just saw a little tiny bit of Animal Crossing at E3 and it's not coming out till March. And I'm definitely not going to stream this every day till March. I'm not even going to stream this every day this month. I'm just going to stream it sometimes. But Animal Crossing City Folk is the Animal Crossing I spent the least time with. Um, other than, I guess, that party game. But that's not... No one wants to see that. So uh, no one's going to. Um, we're going to play City Folk instead. Uh, I actually like anticipated this a while ago and bought a used copy of City Folk. And... Like, I have a Wii U in here, and I have a sensor bar that I could absolutely set up, but I think I'm I'm just going to see if, if Dolphin can make this happen. Um, and if it doesn't, if it fucks up, then I'll just do it on the hardware, but god, I don't want to set up a sensor bar, so. I think you can also set it up with, like, two remote controls that you, like, tape the buttons down on, but that seems like even more trouble than using a sensor bar, so I... I just don't want to have to move my PlayStation camera that's, like, taped on the top of my TV. Because, again, I'm a media professional. So. Turn off the Wii Shop music. Thank you, Wii Shop music. You've done your job. Oh, two can... Well, I... See, I think having two candles on top of my TV is the hardest thing of all. I think that's harder than the remotes. That's like, that seems really, I don't know. I guess if you had like tea lights and then like a tray and then like a shelf. If I had a shelf over the TV. Or I guess, no, because you can do it below, but then that might melt the TV, wouldn't it? If I put the candles underneath my, t my TV screen, that might also be quite bad. Um. Hmm. Well, hopefully this will be fine. Nope, that's, oh, there we go. That's what we want. Magician's Quest is very good. Um, I think the sensor bar works just by being two uh, infrared LEDs. 
So basically any light that the controller can see, the, the sensor bar is like a trick. It's not the real thing that's doing stuff. The, the Wiimotes do, it's, you know, it's like a light gun situation, right? Or the opposite actually, is it the op? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how light guns work. I'm just talking at my ass. Hey, Rover. This looks really crisp. Sorry I skipped through that title screen music. It's, it's a setup day, you know? We'll linger on there in the future for sure. Let me know if I should bump the game audio up a little bit or if it's good where it is. Always. That's a weird, th in hindsight, this is a weird thing to say in a game that has actual bulls with horns, right? I bet I still have a wild world save. I could, if I had a way to communicate those. Okay, I'll bump the audio just a little bit. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go. Hmm, do I want to lie to the game so we get some daytime? <laughs> some daylight? That's tempting. Or is it gonna be like, oh, you should change your Wii clock. Hmm. This is true. Okay, we're gonna pretend. Um, hmm. See, I know me, and me really likes streaming after dinner. Even though sometimes I have intentions to stream before dinner. Um, so what if I just lie and say I live on the West Coast? What if I say it's 4.30? I can always change this later. But what if I lie to these animals who trust me? That sounds good. Yeah, why not? What's my name? This keyboard aspect ratio seems weird. Um, am I like go to Animal Crossing name for whatever reason? Isn't yet. Which is cute. I know. I'm just, I'm not even going to address the, the bad <laughs> gender calls the rover makes. We all know. <sighs> What's our town's name? Um, what 
if I go on my phone and go into Safari and then I type in town names. These are all bad. This is... Hmm... These are all R-rated, <laughs> or half of these. Uh... Sherfield seems like a typo. These are all trout bark. That's kind of fun. Isn't a bark a weapon? Like a like a pole arm or something? Bardford is the worst town. I'm just saying it now. No offense, Jack. It's not. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you walk into Bardford in any, any fantasy world, any, anything, you're in for a fucking time and you know it. Barmwitch. Hurdle pool. These are all a little too... Ghoulcrest, ooh. <laughs> it's not October, I can't do that. Cleethorpes. These are all very English, and I don't know that I'm really feeling it right now. I was I was looking for like <sighs> here's something silly kind of here's a silly real life place no these are all terrible mm. I want like cute, cute town names. This is very important. Curse spell. That's a bit on the nose as far as fantasy town names go. Okay, okay, back to this result page because that's clearly not working out for me. List of cities and towns in the United States, Britannica.com. Mm. Damn, these are actually all great names, but they're like great like character names. Good job, Alabama, on having some good town names. Bad job, Arizona. Yours aren't as good. You don't, no one, don't name your town Chandler. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's... Um... Hmm... Uh-oh. <laughs> 
It's okay. We're good. Okay, let's take this in a different direction. I say and then completely don't communicate what that direction is. Emmy made in Japan fruit tasting series. Search. I typed that extremely wrong. Made in Japan fruit tasting series. My Animal Crossing GameCube town was named Tamarind. So, my thinking is, what if I call this town, well, this is just showing me egg recipes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here's the playlist. Finally. Dragon fruit. Rambutan. Ground cherries. Uh, lychee's not special. Palm seeds. Star fruit. Pomegranate. Lungan. Jackfruit. Jackfruit chips. Ugly fruit. That seems unfair. Finger lime. That looks delicious, but that's not a good town name. Oh, here we go. Pepino melon. How about Pepino? P E P I N O. Does that mean something not hmm. I should I should Google it to double check. Cause I feel like I've heard that word outside of the outside okay, the reason I'm it's there's a pizza restaurant named that. I might be thinking of that. Uh, does that also mean cucumber or something? Pepino Dolce Sweet Cucumber. That sounds also delicious. I really like cucumber. I like cucumber, I like melon, I'm into this. These are all good foods. Courgette's good too. But I can't be Miet from Courgette, that's... You know, if that's a little... I'm having second thoughts, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having second thoughts because I just imagined waking up in a world where someone has DM'd me, hey, your town name means penis in slang or something. Like, you know? Is that a world I want to live in? I don't know. I don't think it is, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, chicory. Chicory's a nice one. Let's do chicory. I'm not just saying that because I just finished watching an episode of Poirot where it took place on Hickory Street and the entire episode was scored by this, like, these, like, ghost children that were just singing Hickory, Hickory Dickory, Hickory over and over again every few minutes. Um, making that the second episode with really terrible... I should have actually made sure I spelled that right. Uh, with, like, a terrible, like, child song motif. Um. Okay, that seems fine. Chicory root, chicory coffee, coffee, chicory root benefits. I'm happy. That's good. All right. Rad. That's it. Chicory is a good dog name, too. So excited. Wait, why no? What? Everyone's saying no. <laughs> find one. Oh, yeah. I love that idea of just like, I'm just going to this town. I don't know where I'm going to live. It's like those BuzzFeed videos where Kristen, Kirsten, just goes to a place and she's like, I don't have any clothes. I'm just going to buy them all. I'm just going to buy some. Uh... Like you, you, congratulations on being able to do that. On being able to just go to a place with not ha with no clothes and get a wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Couldn't be me. Uh, okay. Shop tailor. Museum gate. So do I want to like? What are the tiny houses? Can I not? What am I, is this just showing me a map or am I supposed to be able to do something here? Whoa. Okay. It's just a map. Yeah, Isabel was probably still in college when this when this game happened. Oh. That's my hair, huh? In my face. I feel like I didn't even really answer that many questions that would have earned me that hair. <sighs> okay. Point the Wii Remote at the screen and select Home from the menu with A. Oh, that. Okay. Photos, bugs and fish, designs, pockets, keyboard, map, save. Ah. It's very weird playing one of these games with a mouse. <laughs> there is punishment for lying. I can't really argue with that. It kind of it also does look like Cynthia from Rugrats. I didn't think I was even lying that much. 
to be honest. I thought I was... I don't even really remember answering any... Like I said, I, I feel like I didn't answer any hair questions. It wasn't, there, wasn't there supposed to be like, do you like dogs or cats? Do you like big foods or little foods? That's I don't know what that question is. That's why I don't write these games. The hair salon in this one is just once you get to the city, but you have to tough it out with Tom Nook for a little bit to get to that point. I'm just, you know, being proactive here. I gotta make my money. What? Fuck you. All right, I had to go to City Hall. Look, I'm nursing a cough here, so clearly I'm very distracted. Dina. With the iconic Dina's theme. Listen, we're not going to have another Dottie incident unless someone else makes a Dottie incident. Like, that was not... I didn't provoke that. Dottie stole a thing that I was very excited to have and very excited to like put out in the world and see and decorate with and she took that from me and gave me garbage instead just drop it um so you know not my problem that's her problem I guess we're just a big cherry town here that's all we got that's cool but I feel like I'm usually an apple in orange town. Um, you know, I could look at that map they just gave me, but what if I ran around instead? Hmm. Is the post office. <laughs> I thought I was so smart. Is that it? From here? No, that's a house. Final, look at the map. Ugh. Oh. Well. Wait, that's where I was. But that, it just seemed like the post office. I was expecting to see a Tortimer around. So it was just, um, that lady. Oh, that post office is like a separate place. Oh, Tortimer's sitting in the back, I see. He's sleeping. And Pelly's on Isabel duty. Cool that Animal Crossing takes place in Finland, where it's just like, oh, you need a house? You need to live somewhere? That's cool. We'll just find you somewhere. Um, hmm. You know, I really like, um, this is tough. I like convenience, but I also worry that if I get too convenient, I never find a reason to go down here. But living down here seems like it'd be very tedious. And living here... Also, I worry, well, would this, will this area get really, like, cluttery? Or, like, will it be nice? Will I be able to, like, put up... Can you put paths down in this one? I don't remember. I don't remember if you can put textures on, if you can put patterns on the ground to make like a pathway. Cause that would make living in this top portion more appealing cause I could like path this out and make it like a little place. 
I think this one's just too far for me. <laughs> Living next to the museum might be a bit... This... I don't love the idea of living this close with a bunch of... a bunch of people. That seems like it might be a little tiring. So this might be our nice middle ground here. Can I not just, like, click it? I have to like go there. They keep showing me this map and then giving me this big hand icon that I can't do shit with. Yeah, okay. Well, this is actually a better way to do it because I can like, I can like look at them and get a good sense of what I want. Of course I know. We need a quieter mouse down. <laughs> oh, I just need to learn to relax. It's Animal Crossing. It's not, no one's in a rush. Okay, so here's one of the houses. That would be our neighbor if we lived in this house. Cody. I don't think I want to live next door to Cody. He's a sport. He's a sport bear. Or they're a sport bear. Right on Cody. Okay. They're fine. I just... You know, I have a type when it comes to neighbors, and that's not my type. Um, this I don't care for because it feels like I'm really encroaching on... Uh, whoops. On Queenie. And I don't want to encroach on Queenie. I feel like that would go badly. For everyone. So then, that brings us down here somewhere. This is nice. Good foraging opportunities. I don't know what the, what's this. What's this sign? Fortune and glory await underground. Meticulous digging will earn you yours. That's a really, like, that's like a weirdly unnerving message. That's like some tomorrow children shit. Um, this is, I like the waterfall here. This would be like good white noise to sleep to. Um, you know, I could fish here. There's lots of trees, so I'd, I'd get some, some fruit harvesting in every day. There's space. If you want to crossbreed your flowers, plant them strategically, and the rest is a secret. Okay. Some bugs get up early, some sleep in. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let's look at that oceanfront one, but I think... Uh, Oh, this would be annoying. <sighs> Having to find the way up the cliff all the time. These signs are everywhere. Great. Take the bus. Oh, there's a thing, but I can't dig it up. That's a pitfall anyway. I don't know how to struggle with this control <laughs> with this control system, okay. Uh, yeah, I think the cliff might be ruling the, the beach house out for me completely. <gasps> oh, you're mostly cute, a little creepy. Mostly cute though.
She is so on. Cute. Uh, oh, she's like right on this fucking beach. Yeah, I don't think I want to live here. It just seems like a lot of work, you know? Maybe if there was an up ramp, an up ramp, whatever, you know what I mean? Right there, then sure. Where am I? Is there really just the one way to, okay, there's a bridge here. Man. Inconvenient. Again, if the, if the house was like down here too, maybe. We need more bridges. This is, again, the beach is just not, it's, why isn't there like a thing just in the middle here? Come on. If I was mayor of this town, I would change things. That's a good point, that witch squeaks. If I live that far from town, I could foster a reputation as a witch. Um, I bet Ruby would kind of undercut that because she's really cute. Um, and would probably, probably, probably a bit of a gossip, you know. This is the right house, right? Yes. How do I? Okay. I like this starter carpet and starter wall. It's like spooky, um, but cozy. It's spooky in a cozy way. It's like a, it's like Twin Peaks in here. We don't have any music. I like it though. Oh, there's a second floor? What? I think I totally forgot that there were second floors in this game. That's fair. I am very much liking it. Uh... <laughs> See, Tom looks okay. Free stereo. I 
Don't ever forget to go to bed or you will forget the day and it will be like it never happened. Absolutely not. I mean, you know, if you're gonna, if you say that one bell is equal to a dollar, that's actually a pretty good deal. I don't have any money, but... See? He's okay. Like, as far as landlords go. That's not saying a lot, but he says it right there. He's not alone, Shark. He's not gonna break our legs. He's just gonna go for a little. little indentured servitude. It's fine. I don't want to. That's true. Two cherries sell for a hundred bells. So, like, that's... I think buying a real tiny house in real life would cost me more than, a, like, a couple dozen, a few dozen, several dozen cherries. <laughs> I'll run about however nilly I want. I don't need a map. I have an innate sense of direction. <laughs> Another iconic theme. Uh, I like cats. I didn't pick my hair. Save yet? No. 
I guess I can only save when I quit. That sucks. So I already met you, but I don't know if it counts. Oh man, tell me how to survive when times are lean. Tell me about hard times. Hungry or broke? Find a fruit tree and use those biceps to shake the daylights out of it. That's hard times. How many did this? This is before things stacked, isn't it? Yes, it is. Huh, okay. This is this is why I'm like, I don't know if I really want an orchard, thanks. Uh because this is before you could actually stack items. So, pass. I love flathers. I have like a very small number of amiibos, but one of them is Blathers because he is good. Also, the Animal Crossing amiibos are objectively the best ones because they just feel like they look the most like they're supposed to. There's very little compromise in an Animal Crossing amiibo. Oh, we're at the cafe! Hey! I have no money. That's as much as four cherries. the finger snaps. I also have Mabel and Sable amiibos because they're all so good. That's good. I know what this place is. Look at the little pictures on the on the wall. I do admit that I hate the way she follows you in the store. It's a little pushy. You have like six items here. I'm not gonna steal anything. Oh, you're right. Celeste is there. I forgot to check for her. Which is silly because I was thinking about her because I also have the Celeste amiibo because it's really cute. And Celeste is like my fave. Oh, I missed the opportunity to just tell her she was adorable. 
which generally you shouldn't do with strangers, but, you know, certain contexts. Adorable. We do need a hat. We really, really need a hat. Um, let's check in on Queenie. Amazing. Really fantastic. I shouldn't leave that on though, if you want to keep your eye on it. Teach me. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I, sh I should stop asking them to teach me things because I kind of know. Uh -huh. I don't like touching icky things, but I love cash. Same. Do I? Okay. He does sell them to us, but yeah. I'm gonna see if that's enough to satisfy Tom Nook. We talked to some people before. That should that should be fine. Right? Are there cops? Do I have to say hi to the cops? I have to say hi to whoever lives here. That's the bear. That's the duck. That's Queenie. Uh, Chester. We haven't said hi to Chester. We said hi to Ruby. Okay, so... Okay. Rolf. Um, do Chester and then we'll do Rolf. That's a face. That's a real face on you, Chester. Okay. All right. I'm going to go.
I think we do get to change the town theme in this one as well as the town flag. Uh, to belatedly answer that question. Oh, we have two chess fans in the neighborhood. This one's more of an industrial chess fan, though. Wow. His, his thing is just his name with the girl in the front of it. Girl. Got an indoor bench and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty unhappy about that. I'm not so unhappy about the face because we got eyelashes and eyelashes um, are important to me because uh, they are arbitrary reasons. Um, the hair is terrible. <laughs> and we have to do a bunch of work for Tom Nook before we unlock the ability to go to town and pay money to change our hair. Uh. But I guess we're trying to be proactive. Okay. Um. He probably doesn't need that much free space, right? Shit. Well, it's probably fine. Probably just needs to give me like an axe or something, right? Okay, I was gonna do- I was gonna. No, I know. Uh -huh. <sighs> That's horrible. <laughs> that doesn't even match his apron. Like, it doesn't even feel like a uniform. It feels off-brand. I don't think you need to pick up business. You're the only store in town. Okay, seven things. How about if you let me sell shit to you? That would be a really good fast track to solving this issue. Whoops. <laughs> Does that have any function or is that just like a... There's no like perks or anything. That's more than seven, but it's fine. Okay. I 
I did just eat 50 bells. I mean, it's only 50 bells when I can actually sell them, and there's a whole bunch of cherries in this town anyway. So it's fine, but... Yeah. Uh, can I, like, plant these behind? I forgot how hard it is to plant stuff in this game. It's just gonna put it wherever, so. All right, this is where the flowers are. I'll put a tree here too. I keep trying to click out of that menu and that's not a thing you can do. Whoops, oh, oh. Good enough. How weird. I mean, the spirit of it is to plant them by the star. I'm not gonna just steal a shit. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot one of the flowers. Crap. There we go. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, she's all the way on the beach. It's so hard to get down there. <sighs> Not a cow. How'd I eat the one? Okay, one. No roads. There's one road, I think, kind of. It's nowhere near Ruby's house. Um... Yeah. Two. I'm a human and we don't eat grass. I think actually we can't because it's like really hard to digest, right? That's why cows have a bunch of stomachs because grass is so um, abrasive and tough. This is also just a weird ramp. The way this turns. It's so awkward. Damn right. Gotta produce. Aw, oh, thank you. Don't say that. I just love wasting furniture. Okay. 
Good news, it's Sunday. Six. Six. Yes. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say the stealing was pretty much just the original game um, because it made people upset because it sucked. Um, that original Animal Crossing game is a little mean. It's a little harsh sometimes. Oh, good. Cody, huh? Cody's the sporty one. So we need... We need to really target Cody. Um, with some kind of sporty message about the sale. Um, the easiest thing to do would probably be to lie about what's on sale. Uh, that's a museum, that's not town hall. Uh, oh. Town fund? I forgot that I have to do this, and then she runs over here. Send mail. Chicory. I have to write the letter first. Whoops. Okay. Nope, never mind. Um, pockets. Write a letter. To Chicory Cody. <laughs> These all sound like cowboys. Chicory Chester especially. Fantastic. Dear Cody, um, I can't just use my real keyboard here, can I? No, I, I'm sure I could set that up, but I don't want to. Um, hmm. Is that the right mark? What is that? What's the difference between these? Whoops. Oh, crap. It's... Sporting... Season at all 
right, it does this thing. Hats. Nooks. Granny is still a terrible name for a store. Just gross. Uh, exclamation points. Um, it's sporting season at Nook's Cranny. Uh, then... Come... On... Bye... For... Sport... I want to say sportastic, but I'm trying to remember if this game rates your letters lower if they're confusing to the animals. Um, or if that's Magician's Quest. I can't remember which game does it. I want to say it's Animal Crossing. For sporty. I gotta do a line break again. I think it also rates you poorly if you don't do line breaks. Come on by for sporty savings on all your U.S. spelling because it's the U.S. version. Favorite sport. Products Yes We Have Balls is easy. I'm gonna run out of space, I don't have enough space for them. Ten nets. <laughs> okay, this is good. All right, cool. That's how you market. Targeted marketing. Okay. And let's send this. I should have attached a cherry or something to that, like a little bonus. in a tab and look at it later. Okay. Hey, did you get any good letters lately? No. I'm fine.
hey, I wrote a really good letter. Okay. Chester is the one across the bridge, right? Okay. He's being a little... <laughs> He's being a little much. Uh... Um, you know, I'm a, I've, I've become, like a lot of people, I think, a Tom Nook defender. Um, because Tom Nook operates rel relatively ethically within an unethical system. Uh, and he's, he's fun, um, a little nepotistic, but, you know, everyone has a roof over, head, over their head in, in Tom Nook's world. Um, I, <laughs> a little bit of a hard ass as, as a boss, though. <laughs> oh, this is wrong. <laughs> No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm still learning everyone. I don't know. I should have remembered he was the one who goes Gralf. Um, so which one's Chester? Oh, Chester's the one with the scary mouth. I'm gonna remember that because the corners of Chester's mouth go down to his chest. That's how I'll remember. I really like my current floor, but I'm not going to say no to palace style. That sounds valuable. You really don't need to tell me to go to my work to see what they have. I kind of have to go there either way. Oh, Lily, I love that idea. He does kind of have the shape of the frogs in this game. What if he's... What if he is actually just a weirdly colored frog? That's amazing. That's a revelation. Oh, Cody again. I can't though, you don't let me buy anything yet or sell anything. You've paid me no money, I can't buy a watering can. You also don't even have one for sale. I think Cody would understand. I just want to take care of the community, you know? Yeah. 
Did you like it? Damn right. <laughs> He was really targeted, right? <laughs> You're not gonna give me a present for delivering your thing? Everyone else gave me a present. Advertising. Snazzy that all the young kids will like. Okay. Something snazzy that all the young kids will like. I got it. I know exactly what you need, Tom Rock. Snazzy youth oriented ad for Nook's Granny. I've already got this in my head. We're gonna nail this. He's gonna be so impressed. Um, okay. Use the right button to post a message left and right to turn pages. Close button to finish. Okay. Right. Come on. Down. Two. Nooks. Granny. I like okay good I can do that um I want to do a line break here instead come on down to Nook's Cranny bye any home Decor. Kids love home decor. Item. And... Tom Nook. Will do a Fortnite dance. Whoops. Of Your, can I fit choosing there? I'm guessing no. No. Of your choosing. Um, what's a good way to end? What's a good way to end a bulletin board post targeting the youth? One, two, 
Is it yeet? I don't think it is, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. I sure did. <laughs> Nice. Freedom. I would honestly kind of like it if you remained Tom Nook's part-time employee for a little bit, but it, like, still unlocked other things. You just could come in and do odd jobs. That'd be fun. Nice. He's going to take that money. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like helping people in town doesn't actually earn you money, but... Yeah. I'll just sell shit. That's... Uh-huh. I got it. It's cozy, I like it. That's all I have room for. I can carry two more. Okay. Well, step one is obviously sell a lot of cherries. At least you can sell multiple things at once. That's important. No, no, I don't like it, no. Ugh, no. I just want out, honestly. Oh, a shovel, though. No, I think I can figure it out. Please, God, just stop. 
I already know. It's fine. I'll figure it out. There's only a couple buttons I could hit to do anything with it. It's fine. I'm a little worried about accidentally picking those flowers. Where's the other cherry? I think I got it. Okay. Um, does this game have bees that can hurt you? I don't remember. I feel like it must. But also sometimes when you shake things, furniture. Ooh, money. Oh, gross. Oh, right, that happens sometimes. Uh... And I don't know how to use this tool after all. <laughs> I absolutely don't. Not really. Cool. Hang on, I need to figure out how to... Okay. It's like a, like a double click? No. No! Maybe I have to like double click on myself. Maybe that's the, the problem I'm having here. No. <sighs> I hope this isn't like a motion control thing of like. <laughs> I have to swing the fake Wiimote. Like an extra button. See that? I feel like this should count. I'm basically getting that flea. There we go. There we go. Disgusting. The shovel question is a good one. Um, one thing I do know is that uh, part of the shovel thing was you would get those colored ores that you could use to recolor furniture. And I don't think we have that here because there's no restore in this. But that doesn't mean you won't get coins out of a rock. I think that is still possible. If one could find a rock, here we go. No, that didn't do anything. Oh, but I do have these things to shit to dig up. Hmm. 
Nice. Good news, Blathers. I have the best kind of donation for you. It's a flea that I caught off of a duck. Ugh, yuck. talk so much. What's the holes trick? What? Oh, like, oh, I see. So it won't push you back. That's interesting. But then, don't you have, do you have to dig three holes before you hit any single rock? That seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Oh man, everyone's so talky. Hmm. All right. I would love to change my hair today. I think that's my goal is like to get the tools that, that are available for sale and then to not have, have hair like a really messed up Barbie doll. my goal. <laughs> Shit.
Oh, there it is. Shit. Yeah, there it is. The holes trick is a good one. Probably should have done it. But still, day one, you know. We can get our hair fixed now for sure. That's the important thing. Oops. You know, I, I'll figure it out. I've been doing okay. <laughs> Have a good evening, Jordan. Okay, buy these chairs for me, please. Okay, there's still a lot of cherries to pick, um, but I'd also like to go to town and get my hair fixed, if that's an option. And I would also, before that, like to clear a little bit of extra space in my inventory. That would be ideal. God, that's an ugly chair. Am I carrying my shovel? Where'd my shovel go? I think I like the work uniform more. That's a little sad. I don't know that I'm ready to commit to this palace tile yet. Mm Want to take the bus to the city. Extremely, we're not in this bus a second ago. <laughs> I 
don't think you can do that anymore. <laughs> Absolutely not. God, there's a walrus with a hurdy gurdy. So, right off the bat, off to a good start. Give me something. Phineas the prize man. Everyone should get a prize once in a while, don't you think? And that's where I come in. Wow, that sounds like such a scam, but okay. Bunny balloon, pinwheel, or bubble wand. Oh, that's a tough choice. Bubble wands are really cool. Pinwheels are really cool. But I want to walk around with this bunny balloon like he's got here. What with the ears and all. I'm a little worried the pinwheel is going to require me to like blow into a wee microphone or some crap like I'm just going to go with the balloon. That sucks. Wonk. I spent all my bellage paying off a loan, wonk. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's fair. Ah, uh, fine. That's so many bells.
<laughs> I thought you were supposed to be performing a play called Love. I came here for Love, the play. joke. Did you know that love makes everything nicer? So let me tell you about my wife. She used to be the sweetest girl in the whole wide world. The Animal Crossing wide world. Wild world? Was that actually? She used to say, Shrunk, you're my funny honey. But these days, the missus says things like, get a real job, Shrunk. What kind of doctor are you, anyway? Your jokes make people feel queasy. Yep, the missus really knows how to make me feel small. But I gotta admit, that's what I love about my wife. <laughs> yeah, the doctor is out. What? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> nope. I think a haircut costs less than half that. You're gonna see me again in the future, but it's not because I enjoyed the show. <laughs> Goodness, Mo. No restaurants does mean no pear gelato. Ooh, I want a shoe shop. I love Kix so much. Kix is the best. That's a lot of money, but I want to support his endeavors. worth it. I love him. Whoops. Gyroid places. That's the home. I need to. I need to focus. I need hair right now. I can check out the rest later. 
Please, God, Chan Pluto, help me. Yes. How can you tell? Are you gonna help me out or? Okay. Yes. Uh, you know, let's just go with the hair. <laughs> Oh, it's 3,000, not 300. It's 3,000 bells. I'm very lucky I still have that. Cute, grown-up, or unique? I'm a little worried this would count as cute. So maybe I want to go with grown-up? What do you mean exactly? Hmm? Elegant or alluring? Um... You know... I could go for alluring. I don't think that's gonna come up. I'll say back home. Uh, good plan. Being strong can only increase your allure. Hair color. Um, you know, I like the pink for now, I think. Safe, lighthearted, fiery, flirty. I don't know what the difference is between these. Fiery is going to be like... Is this like yellow, orange, red, pink? <laughs> uh, Jack, that's exactly what it's like. Um, My guess would be that flirty is pink. I, you know, I do really like the potential to up in this kind of thing, because especially in the salon, because I feel like it's yeah, like like Adam said, it <laughs> there is a degree of like this is kind of what getting your haircut is like, um, especially if you don't go in with a picture. It's just like you know, I want like a. I want like a, the last time I got my hair cut, I went in there and I was like, it was like a new place and a new person. I was like, you know, I want like a lob. Um, and the lady, when she was talking me through what she was doing, just kept repeating the word lob in a way that made me feel very unsure that she actually knew what I meant, even though I thought it was just like a pretty standard term at this point. Um... So I kind of appreciate, even though this costs 3,000 bells, that's not no money. Uh, that's cute. Okay, I'm happy with that. I wouldn't call it like alluring or elegant, because it's like a ponytail. <laughs> but, I mean, ponytails can be alluring and elegant. But, you know, sure, I'm happy with that. A lob is like a long bob, yes. 
All right, that's where she is. Um, I don't have money for her. Whoa. A boom indeed. What's this place? Oh, this is the auction house, which is largely useless when you can't connect to the internet. Yeah. We definitely can't afford anything at Gracie Grace right now, but it's still worth taking a peek. Wearable art and haute couture. I really don't like the Gracie Grace home fashion set. That's just me though. I'll be honest, it's just not my style. It's just a little too sixties. realization that like if they re-released Happy Home Designer on Switch I'd probably play it. The only thing that's keeping me from going back to it and giving it a second chance now is the fact that I just kind of don't want to use my 3DS ever again. <laughs> He sold everything to pay for pot. Okay, Lyle. I super... I didn't know that I had a letter. So... <laughs> I don't like that I can see the redness of his face through my own head. Houses are definitely work. Instinct, luck, bang. That's how you know when it's right. Bang. Okay, is this going to cost me money? That's the second time someone has told me to take a bull by the horns in this world populated by animals, including bulls with horns. Hmm. 
You're not gonna want to do that quite yet. <laughs> Does Amazon still do that thing where you can give them a key to your house and they'll just put stuff in your house? I guess you don't give them a key, you just install their weird lock. Lyle has a real, like, Yakuza sub-story character vibe. Let's take a look at this model room. Um, so I'm guessing we haven't set up yet. They probably, probably haven't set up yet. All right, well, you have fun. <laughs> wow, so many good faces here. Hi. Great face. Who's frillard? <laughs> oh, faces. I don't believe him. I think he's a plant. You also seem to be wearing like a button up front diaper or something. I think he's a plant that Dr. Shrunk pays to stand out here and be like, I laughed so hard I cried. I gotta go. I stand outside for a bit, but you should go see that show. It was pretty good. Just seems fake. see Brewster earlier, KB. Brewster is like a teal pigeon who runs, um, in this game, he runs a coffee shop that is, like, attached to the museum. Uh, and it's great. I kind of, I like that he got his own spot, but I do kind of miss, I do kind of miss him having his own, like, or having the, the little wing of the museum. That said, I also miss when K.K. Slider came to town and we just, like, set up a box and jam in the, in the, like, open. That was also fun. <laughs> I hope not.
I'm glad we fixed our hair. That's some solid, solid work for a day one. I think we can still get some cherry harvesting in. I probably shouldn't harvest all the cherries at once because then they'll all grow in at the same time and then that's kind of exhausting. Oops, why didn't I have that shovel equipped? I forgot I had this balloon too. That's fun. I'm a little worried that I'm gonna like do an activity and she'll lose hold of the string. <laughs> but oh well. What good is a balloon if you don't use it? We just shook a tree. I know you can do this. Here we go. Why are we struggling here? There's no lost and found in this game, is there? I feel like there is. I feel like the cop dogs are in here. All mine that's such an amazing coincidence a frock coat I lost this a second ago even because I just moved into town today but then I lost it the second I came um, I left it on the bus I don't the hospital screen I have listening I don't have a story for that one but this frock coat definitely mine yes I'm so excited for the 
Rocco. Oh my god. What a fucking score. The hospital screen, again, I don't... I'm not super excited about that. Um, I mean, I can sell it. Holy shit! Look at that! That's fantastic. That's great. Um, that's great. Paper's good. We really need like a storage thing in the house because we don't have that and I have a bunch of stuff I don't want to carry around all the time. Oh, what a good outfit. Check out my fucking amazing frog coat. You're alright, Ruby. You have fun. You have scary eyes, but that's okay. Um, there's no train in this one, so no luck there. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. Oh, it has wheels and stuff. That's so creepy. Ooh. Okay. Can I seriously not decorate up here? That's weird. That's super weird. And then I can't put stuff here. All right, well, that's a shame. I wanted to put my extra outfits up there. I have to settle for putting down here. I have this floor, but I'm worried if I put this palace tile down that the default carpet won't pop up, that it'll just cover it and I'll be screwed. Because I kind of like this default floor more than the palace tile. That's not really where I wanted that at all. I'm going to do a save state, which is a thing I just did. And then I'm going to put this down just to see what happens. Nope, that's, I did the wrong thing again. It's fine. Spread on floor. Oh, that's nice. And then, okay, we have the opulent rug. Opulent rug is a good starter. See, this doesn't quite go with the walls, but I'm glad that we have this. This is a good thing to have. This is fancy. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
There we go. Uh, tools and paper. All right, that's a little more reasonable. Oh, come on. Everyone in this town is so filthy. I can tell. Just a little closer. <sighs> Just... Ah! There we go. I wish I could just shake this tree with this thing in my hand. Okay. Well, it's good to know the bug off is tomorrow. That's an important event. Some hijinks are happening over there. That's a fish. Okay, where do I get that? Where do I get a barbel steed? Is that a river fish? I can do it if it's a river fish. Animal Crossing. Barbel steed. Okay, it's a river fish. Caught all day, year round. Common and worthless. All right, <laughs> so I can do it then. I got this. I should see what emotion we learned. All oh, right, love. Great. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Looking for a fish. 
looking for a fish. What's that whisper? Oh, I don't have a slingshot. Poop. Can't get that sky present. Why are they not fucking fish? That's not a river fish, so that's gonna be like a frog or something. Seems a bit big. Shit. I should have asked for instructions to not use this fucking fishing rod. Is there no like reel in? I thought there was a reel in. Maybe there never was. So gross. And also not a barbell steed. Barbell steed? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Is it too late to catch the barbel steed? It says all day. And I did lie to this game about what time it is, so it's not like it's evening, evening. Right? I promise this is not one of the worst fishing mini games ever. In video games, there have been way, 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 way worse ones. Hmm. 
That's an amazing... That's an amazing icon. <laughs> I really just want to do Ruby a solid and catch this weird fish she wants to teach to play baseball or whatever the hell her plan was. Ooh. This is such a bad angle for this. That's also not what I'm looking for. This is all fine. These can all go to the museum. Uh, everyone will be very happy and educated about fish. So it's fine. This cliff is such a pain in the ass. That is a fish. And also, is that like a weird tiny little bug? Oh, it's a mosquito. Shit. Oh, it's gross. Depth perception is tough. There we go. Oh, there's another one. That's great. Ugh. Sounds good. Something that thunders like lightning. Um, a good greeting for Cody. Um... Greetings are hard. I like the sign-offs more. Oh, good point. Yeah. It's, it's time for a callback. Why? New hello. Yeah, <laughs> that's all you have to do. It's amazing. It's really going to catch on. There's that fish.
Ah, oh, crap. <sighs> kind of rude how it interrupted me there. I was kind of doing something. Okay, a little further upstream and then I can float down. That's the trick. That was too slow. I didn't expect it to bite on the first thing. They like never do that. Lost in Blue, man, I really liked Lost in Blue until I hit the point where I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing and how to advance this. Uh, Lost in Blue is very cool. It's kind of wild considering where survival games went that they didn't bring back Lost in Blue or that there wasn't more of like a, hey, remember Lost in Blue kind of like resurgence. Uh, for people who don't know what Lost in Blue is, Lost in Blue, uh, I only ever played the first one. Oh, that skinny fish is promising. Um, I only ever played the first one for DS, but it was like you were stranded on an island with a girl. And in the accident that you got you stranded on the island, her glasses broke. So that's why she could only stay in a cave and cook for you. Uh, that part was silly. But it was fun because you had to like go gather up a bunch of food and then you would bring it and it would like get prepared and then you would um let me get this fish hang on you had to like learn to set up traps oh that's gross uh you had to learn to set up traps to get like boars and stuff and then like figure out a way to get free or to like to escape the island um I never really got past the point of, like, gathering coconuts and random shellfish. Uh, I kind of struggled with the animal trapping and hunting. It was cool, though. Like, it was a cool idea. I think there was one for like PS2 or something that I kind of wanted to go back to because it felt like that would be a better way to play that game. Or a similar game. Crucian again? Yeah. Ooh, fireflies. I guess this is just a museum run at this point. Um, this isn't quite gonna be a summer witching out. This is gonna be a pop in and play Animal Crossing at random periods hour. It's very hard for me to commit to doing something every single day in a month. Um, it's difficult. Okay, let's see, what do I have doubles of? Carp, Crucian Carp. 
Sell that and that and that. Oh, nice. I didn't know that in two, um, in two you can be the boy or the girl. That's kind of nice. The whole... <laughs> As someone who has really bad eyesight without glasses, um, if I broke my glasses, I would still be able to do stuff. You know? Like, I would still be able to... Among the things that, that the male character does in that first game, pick up coconuts and shellfish. Um, I'd be able to handle those things pretty handily, even without my glasses. I'm not saying everyone could. Um, you know, everyone's got different, different eyesight situations. Um, but I feel like if you have enough vision, the glasses help. You're probably not, like, gonna be cave-bound if they're broken. Right? I might be wrong there, but I just... I don't know, it just seems... It just seems kind of weird. It seems like a stretch. That's all. Well, that's a tire. Why would, why would that even look like the silhouette of a fish moving around? It doesn't make any sense at all. How silly. Oh. Do I bring my inventory for another fish? I do. I'm a little worried it'll be too late to catch the barbel steed, but hopefully not. That's a dace again. Okay, this might just this just might not happen. <laughs> take forever because you cannot donate multiples Boy, do I. I really like that the museum in Animal Crossing, or er, <laughs> Stardew Valley, um, when you donate stuff, you get like rewards every so often. That's always really exciting, and they're like fun random kind of things like big geodes and like statues and stuff it makes it kind of exciting to, to add stuff to the museum there I also really like that in New Leaf if you have a completed set of fossils 
um, not in the museum, but like in your possession, you can take them to restore and they like miniaturize them into a display model that you can like put on the table and stuff. That's very cute. We'll just keep it going. I love Stardew so much. Oh, I don't want to hear about carp teeth. Ugh. I truly would never. My biggest complaint about Stardew Valley is that I don't really love the look of it. Um, it's not like... It's not super cute, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, Rune Factory, etc. All really spoils you on like anime cuteness. Um, even the early ones. All the proportions are just really twee and... I don't know. Um, yeah, Stardew does have a different tone. I kind of appreciated the tone. Like, it felt a little less... Um, sometimes Harvest Moon... And I get Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons. Uh, hits a really good sort of idyllic kind of tone. And sometimes the tone just hits, like, kind of patronizing and childish. Um, and it, it's not always consistent which ones handle what, or which ones come off in what way, and, um, yeah, I don't know. I started playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> So I have like one Stardew Valley save that I put like 200 hours into back when it first came out and when I reviewed it for Zam, I think it was. Um, and uh, then I made like another save to try and do co-op with Austin. And Austin didn't really it didn't click and you know, it's also a very time consuming game and it's a game that like, it's hard to feel like you're you're making use of your time, which is when you're a game critic very stressful like you want to make sure that like you're playing things that you feel like you can um turn into content basically uh and stardew doesn't really qualify there at this point um so at the same time i also made another new save for myself because going back to the 200 hour one was hard because i had so many plates spinning and didn't know what was going on um so i made like another one there and then i ended up making another one on the switch and the switch is a is a decent place to play that game um i bought it on ios too but i just i don't like not having buttons or something for like the idea of playing that game with touch controls is not appealing um god that eel is the worst yeah Stardew does some darker stuff, but not actually, um, not too much. Um, as far as I know anyway, like there are people who are dealing with depression and there are people who are dealing with poverty and there are people who are dealing with PTSD. 
Um, but it has a fairly light touch from what I recall in a lot of that. Like it, it acknowledges that these are things that are happening that people are going through, but it doesn't get like too uh, psychological, I guess. Um. <laughs> yeah, the casino will do that. I already, did I already donate a Crucian Carp? I want to say I did. I know I donated a normal carp. Wow, rude. Oh, maybe. Yeah. They added the... That would probably be with Shane. Uh, and I think they added stuff with Shane. Sort of, they like patched it in because people had requested that romance um, be an option. So I think that's part of that. I guess I'm not sure. I was thinking a lot about... Um, the one lady's husband who comes back in year two and stuff like that. One thing I can say for sure is that I don't like the new Harvest Moon games from Natsume. Uh, they look bad. And I tried to play that first one they did and it was bad. So I don't play them anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, um, Makora. That kind of thing. They should definitely have a warning. They should definitely have some sort of, like... You know, it's one of those things where, like, you're gonna hear the argument of, like, how do you do that in a way that doesn't ruin the fiction of the game? And it's like, that, does that really matter that much? Like, it's mostly a game about farming and little juju gnome things and slimes and dungeons and turnips like I think it's totally reasonable to have a thing where you just say like hey this story is gonna go in some directions um just as a heads up just like a little pop-up anything I don't know that would be fair um, a new beginning is really good Harvest Moon A New Beginning is like the one I would recommend to people who want to play a Harvest Moon on um, on a 3DS. Cause it, especially like after Stardew because it gives you the ability to like build and do stuff like that and that's really cool. Um, one of the Story of Seasons is, did something really good with that stuff too but A New Beginning was like a big a big leap there. Um, did I already donate a dace? I feel like I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm really curious about the Doraemon Story of Seasons. I'm a little bothered that that's going to be the first Story of Seasons on Switch. Because uh, Switch is... It just feels like we should have had one by now that was just like a main... A mainline one. Um, I never played the Popolacqua Story of Seasons that came out for 3DS. I heard it was kind of mixed in terms of quality. Which worries me a little bit, um, but it looks really, really pretty, and I really want a Story of Seasons on my Switch, so I'll probably settle no matter what. There's a 
hole somewhere. Ooh, there's a beetle. Those are very good. I'm gonna totally fuck this up, though. Fuck. Yeah, I... Damn it. Mosquito over there. The important thing is that I tried. Yeah, I liked what I played of Trio of Towns. Um, it's just so weird to me that, like, a new beginning is so flexible. Like, you get to plan that whole town out. Um, and, like, there's just so much customization available. Um, also, is that the one that has the really cute outfits? Or is that the one that came after? I don't know. One of them has, like, amazing outfits. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> One of them has amazing outfits. Um, yeah, New Beginning had like so much crafting and customization and stuff that it was weird that they kind of dialed that back. Right, I have this stupid fucking tire in my inventory that's taking up space. Rune Factory 4 is so good. I haven't played it since I've played Stardew Valley, but... You know, my knee-jerk reaction is that, like, it is... Rune Factory 4 is, like, a really, really excellent bridge between Stardew and and Story of Seasons, Harvest Moon, etc. Um, and just, like, is a, is a good RPG... It's both a good farming game and a good RPG. I don't consider Stardew Valley a great RPG. In the... I mean, in the, like sense of an RPG being a game where you like fight and stuff um Stardew doesn't really have the most story in that side of things it's a good RPG in the sense of like role playing as a farmer um but in terms of combat and whatnot, not so but uh Rune Factory 4 is great I'm really glad they're working on a fifth one because the idea that a game like Rune Factory 4 would happen and that would be the last thing in that franchise was really upsetting. It seemed very unfair. Um, hi, Annie. Hi. Meow. Meow. Please don't fuck with anything behind my back. You've been in a very pawing through the trash kind of mood lately, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> oh, gross! Gross, gross, gross! Ew. Oh, I hate that. I have to catch it immediately. I didn't have to eat that cherry technically to make room because I could just equip this, but... Ugh. Can that thing attack me? I don't remember. 
Oh, fuck. Fuck. Yep, it can. Super can. Ugh. Bad. I hate that. I hate it. Ugh. Is it still around? Or does it disappear after it does that? That was awful. Um... I would really like to catch that barbel steed, but also if it's a dirt common fish and I still haven't caught one after running up and down this river a bunch, I don't know that I'm gonna. I think it's probably too late. Might be daytime only. In which case, fuck it. <laughs> you know? Depth perception. Uh. This is not happening. I love that net hitting the water sound though, that's good. should try and find that other um, hole that was somewhere around here. Again, I don't want to pick all these. It's so tempting to just go through and pick all of the fruit, but that's so exhausting too. I'd rather kind of stagger it so I don't get too overwhelmed having to pick fruit all the time. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Very loud cars outside. Mm-hmm. 
thought there was one like along the edge here. But I might be mistaken. fine. Everyone says weird shit. <laughs> Good. Oh, I'm kick. <laughs> what up, frog? Isn't the best joke. For the record, Annie went into a little box and curled up, so she's being good. Which is fantastic. I think Annie would probably have that, like, kind of bratty personality. She has a lot of attitude uh, when people are standing in the kitchen. Maybe that's the thing, is like in the kitchen she would have one personality, but in any other room 
Should have a different one. Okay. thing she'll do in the kitchen is one she'll meow a lot two she will stand up on her back legs and then put her front paws on like the cupboards or the chairs or like anything and then she'll kind of like lean back as far as she can manage while still keeping at least one paw on that bit of furniture um and then if she gets extremely sassy, she will like only <laughs> only when my back is turned, walk up behind me and then like gently bite the back of my leg. Um, and she'll like wait until I've turned around to do it. So like I'll stand there facing her for a bit and she'll just wait and then I'll turn around and she will just immediately walk up and gently bite the back of my leg um, and meow more. Um, cause she's very rude. Okay. I think that's good for now. Did that guy really send me a letter? Should I have check my mailbox to see if there was a letter in there for me. No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, big gross moth. I'm gonna fuck this up, but it's worth a shot. Oh, yeah, well that... <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> I'm also going to do a save state again. Just in case. Because you never know. Sometimes the game fucks you over. When you save. Alright. So I think that's gonna do it for now. God, that was three and a half hours, huh? Well, that's, that's how starting an Animal Crossing game goes. Um, I'm Janine Hawkins, and I'm bleeding hard on Twitter. Uh, you can listen to the podcast that I do with my friends. Friendsatable.net? .net. It's .net, right? Um, Friendsatable.cash for Patreon. Stream more of this at some point. Probably. Have a good evening. <laughs>